Hey guys, David Sladuski here, and today we're going to be analyzing the for sale by owner script that I created and I use on a daily basis to generate me six to seven listings every single month consistently. Uh, if you haven't checked out my channel before, uh, go check it out. You'll see live cold calls that I make to actual prospects and you'll see me use this script in action to generate a listing. Um, if you're just starting out or if you're experienced, I think for sale by owners are a great lead source to call. And that's because they're free. I, I get them on Zillow. I hand dial them every single morning. Uh, it's a routine that I follow strictly and it really does generate me six to seven listings every single month. Currently, there's about a hundred for sale by owners in my market. I'm in the Cleveland market. Uh, so I would book on Zillow, just draw a map where you're willing to drive to and call all of the for sale by owners in that radius. Um, without further ado, we can get into it. This is the for sale by owner script hanging up here. You probably can't see it on camera, so I made it downloadable for you in the description below. I recommend downloading that so you can follow along uh, as I work through it. Now, what I have written up here are the things that are highlighted in this script. These are the three main and most essential questions uh, to ask throughout the conversation with the prospect. I, I call these the meat and potato questions. These are the must have, must practiced questions to be asking every time you call the prospect. Uh, so initially the conversation starts out just pretty normally. Hey, calling about your property on Main Street. They usually say something like, yeah, this is Susan, owner of the property on Main Street. Then I kind of go right into the first question. I say, hey, you know, my name's David. I'm a local realtor, but I'm calling to see if you're allowing realtors to bring you a buyer for the home. This is the main thing that they're going to be hearing. Uh, most realtors that call these for sale by owners are saying, hey, do you want to list with me? You've been on the market two weeks. You know, do you want to list with me? And they're getting that nonstop. So when you call them, they already don't like hearing that you're a realtor and they shut down. So that's why as soon as I say I'm a realtor, I go, but I'm calling to see if you're allowing realtors to bring you a buyer from the home. So now you're coming at a place of providing them value, trying to see if they're you know willing to work with an agent. This question is also fantastic because it tells me two things. It tells me one, if they say yes to this, that they're open to working with an agent. And more importantly, if they are, it tells me that they're willing to pay two to 3% for a buyer's agent commission. This means I'm halfway there on the commission. I only need five to 6% to list the home. And if they're willing to pay two to three, yeah, I'm, I'm halfway there already working through them on, on getting a listing agreement there. Um, then as you'll see in the script, if you have it downloaded, I just ask kind of filler questions. And these questions are designed to uh, gain their motivation. I wanna figure out how quickly do they need to get out of the house? Why are they moving? Is there any issues, you know, foreseeable issues? So I, I just listed three of them. I ask no more than two to three of these questions. This also kind of breaks down their walls, builds rapport, uh, allows you to kind of utilize your personality to make them a bit more comfortable. Uh, a couple of examples are, you know, great. How are you doing showings on the home? This tells me, are they 45 minutes and are they driving back and forth every time they need to show the property? Uh, next one is, is the property currently vacant or occupied? Is there a tenant in it? Good things to know. Uh, where do you plan on moving once the home sells? Do they have no place to move to? Do they already have the house picked out? Do they need to be out in two weeks? Uh, this gauges, again, motivation, lets you know their urgencies, and just gives you more information and power when talking to the prospect. Then hop in right to the next highlighted question, and this is worst case scenario, if the house doesn't sell in the next month or two, are you open to working with an agent at that point? Very you know, powerful question. So let's just break this down. I'm saying in the next month or two. So I'm not saying, you know, hey, you haven't, had, you haven't sold your house in two weeks. Are you open to working with me? You're just saying if this doesn't sell and you're saying it almost like, you know, I don't think, I think you're gonna sell it, but let's say worst case scenario, Let's say this thing doesn't sell. At that point, are you willing to work with an agent? And that's kind of how, how you have to say it, you know? At that point is another um, 
Where is that? Yeah, at that point is is important because now they're thinking, you know, he's not asking me to commit to anything right now. He's saying two months in the future, am I willing to work with somebody? Logically, most people are gonna say yes. You're kind of working through, they, they think they're gonna sell this thing in a month, or sorry, a week, but you're saying, you know, if it's, if it's on the market 60, 90 days, you know, are you willing to at least see other options? If they're a logical, sane human being, they're, they're probably going to say yes. And I can tell you from talking to most for sale by owners, 90% of them say yes. Uh, so that's kind of how I say the question. I really emphasize these two things. In the next month or two, worst case scenario, you know, I don't even think it's going to happen. Um, you're really just putting it out in their head. This also, someone that I follow on YouTube, Brandon Moren, he, he also wants the prospect to feel in control. This question does exactly that. They're not committing to anything and they feel in control. If they say yes to that, and again, typically they do, I hop right into question number three, and this is where you secure the listing. Let's say I was able to net you the same amount of money or more if we put the house on the market sooner. Are you open hearing about that? This is a tough question to say no to. I mean, they're, they're thinking, well, shoot, you know, if you can net me the same amount, why, why wouldn't I? All for sale by owners care, at least 98% of them, is what you net them. If you're telling them that you can net them the same amount of money, at the end of the day, they do no work, and they, they sit back, you take care of it, and you're netting them the same Let's say they have the house listed at 250. You're saying you can net them right around that 250 price. You know, why wouldn't they at least be open to hearing about that? And I like to use this word, are you open to it? No one wants to think that they're closed minded. You know, so are you open minded to hearing about that? Or are you open to hearing about that? It's a good verbiage to use. Not many people want to think of themselves as closed minded people. They want to keep their options open and you've already worked through them this far to kind of build rapport, show them that you're coming at a place of value. Now, it's good to know your market. If they have a house listed at 600,000 and it's a $300,000 neighborhood, I might not even call that prospect or I might let them sit three months before I even make the initial contact. But most of the time these for sale by owners are pricing it and they have no idea, they're going off the Zestimates, which is not a very accurate way. So if you know that you can net them and then all it is, is two to 3% more. Because remember, if they're willing to offer a buyer's agent commission, they're paying two to 3%. You just need two to 3% more. So do the math on that, explain that to them like that. And if you can show them that you can, you know, I've consistently sold two to 3% more and I, I believe I can do with my marketing plan, I believe I can net you the same amount. That's a phenomenal question. Because again, all they care about is that guy right there. That's all they care about is some money. That is a tough question to say no to. So if you get this far, you, you pretty much get, you can sign the listing agreement in your head already. Then I just go right into setting the actual appointment. Okay, great. Can I stop by for 15, 20 minutes, share with you my marketing plan, show you who I am, see if it even makes sense for us to work together. Again, very non-confrontational, very hard thing for a prospect to say no to especially if they're getting hounded by realtors that don't know what they're doing, they don't know what they're saying, they're stuttering on the phone, they're very nervous, they, they don't have a clear pathway of how they're leading the prospect to a listing appointment. That's the key right there, is having a clear frame of mind. What's my next question? Where am I going to next? That's why I think if you download the script, give it a shot, I guarantee if you call every day for the next month or next week, you'll have a listing appointment, bare minimum, or at least some leads from that. So hope this video provides you some value. Again, if it did, please click the like button below, leave a comment. And if you like this kind of style of video where I explain the scripts I create, let me know, happy to do more of them. Uh, and I'm curious to hear how your for sale by owner conversation went while using that script. Again, thanks for watching.